What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, you first for sure. B Rock Gaming, you first for sure. Look, man, I appreciate y'all for stopping through. You feel me? Where everybody watching from? Let's go ahead. Look, they already doing a roll call. Look, you already know the routine. Let's get it. Be more in the house. You already know. Finally caught a live. Look, I appreciate you coming. Appreciate you having the notifications on. Y'all got y'all nines in this joint going crazy already. Did you run off after the Putin conspiracy? Nah. <laughs> not me, not me. You know what I'm saying? We got Louisiana, Detroit, Kansas City in the house, Montana, Virginia, Kentucky. I can pretty much say anything in the B on here right now, man. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my grandma ain't here. Grandma, you gotta leave now. You, I be cussing and stuff like, look. <laughs> look. You gotta go ahead and get off here, grandma. Like, look, I'll talk to you later, you know. <laughs> Yo, I love it. I love it. I love it. How you feeling tonight? Yeah, my grandma with us tonight. Look, man, I'm gonna try to be on my best behavior, but y'all already know me. I'm, 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 I'm be me. She know that too. I'm gonna be me. My lady right there. <laughs> so look, man. We're gonna get into this video. Go ahead and put y'all nines in the chat if y'all ready for this. I got my kombucha ready. Okay, y'all ready? All right. fifties and what they would do is it was a cluster bomb filled with LSD. It would be thrown at the targets or victims. They'd be getting headaches, they'd start tripping out, freaking out, and they eventually realized <laughs> that ultimately this might not be the best weapon to use. As you can figure, um, dude, imagine a bunch of people going crazy off LSD while they're on the war grounds. What if it actually made the enemy smarter and then he's like James Bond. That's what I was gonna say. I was like, can you imagine they're over here thinking they're fighting a dragon? So they're over here like killing all the enemies because they think it's a dragon. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. In what world does it sound good using LSD in war? Not at all. Have y'all noticed something? <laughs> Especially with Avatar 2, these upcoming movies are talking a lot about water. Specifically the ocean and what's going on down there. Them having to fight wars on the water. Even with the new Black Panther movie. Wars with an underwater tribe. I feel like there's more going on in the ocean than they're talking about. Now, as y'all know, y'all saw when the ocean was literally on fire, what are they hiding from us? And then 11 years before that, it was another ocean fire that they purposely did. Cause that's normal. Flames were intentionally set. Far offshore, crews lit some of the thickest parts of the oil slick ablaze. Parts surrounded by fire resistant boom. I guess I'm tripping though, right? Even though last year they let off a 40,000 pound bomb in the ocean. Now tell me y'all don't believe that underwater civilizations are down there. Now in the new Black Panther movie, it seems like it's beings coming from the water to fight. Also, the new Avatar movie coming from the water to fight. Y'all seeing all over the world that these floodings and hurricanes is happening everywhere all around the world. In Florida, Pakistan, all of that. Even in the desert. Something is going on and they're not playing about it. If we throw in the existence of mermaids and the amphibious beings who taught the Dogon tribe information about the sky, all of that, where do y'all think these beings are living? Why do you think they keep trying to bomb these oceans, trying to figure out ways to set it on fire? They're sending us a message, y'all. So stay dangerous and tell me what you think. All right, look, y'all, on a real note, where will we need the use to set water on fire? I mean, look. I'm good at asking some pretty decent questions now. Like, what is the purpose of us setting water on fire? You know, they can say all they want to say, but what's happening is something completely different. And the logic behind it is something completely different. Is it something that we're missing? Of course, of course, we already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? We're just here to have the conversation, though. Interesting, right? Stuff they do right in front of your face. Look, you should feel slow if, you know, you're not, you're not tracking this stuff. If you're not really understanding, just because you don't want it to be true doesn't mean that it's not. 
close your eyes and the shit's still gonna be there. That's what they don't tell you about in movies. Just because you close your eyes don't mean it's gonna go away. <laughs> you know? Microchip implants are here and have been here. And I don't know why other people aren't like talking about this. This 37 year old doesn't need to use a bank card or his mobile phone to pay. Instead, he simply places his left hand near the contactless card reader and the payment goes through. The reactions I get from cashiers are priceless. And if you still don't believe it, I have a video to prove it. Look at the chip Watch in the hand. This. convenience they would have left it at phones just using their phone to tap it i don't think this is about convenience Ab absolutely you know not look i'm not I'm, I'm off rip bro i'm not i'm not getting anything injected into me for anything that uh because you know they got ways to doing stuff to you but i don't i don't i'm against all of that happening to me me being injected with stuff on my skin to pay for stuff it ain't never that serious that Steve Jobs, who passed on October 5th of 2000, I'll leave it to the rest of y'all to turn into cyborgs. <laughs> 2011 was recently interviewed by Joe Rogan on October 5th of this year. A zombie, a ghost, a hologram, a website slash podcast show called Podcast.ai used artificial intelligence to simulate a fairly convincing conversation between the former Apple CEO and the biggest podcaster on the planet. And here's how they accomplished this. They gathered all of the available audio recordings of both Jobs okay, and Rogan okay. that are scattered throughout the internet and then generated transcripts that were then fed to an artificial intelligence software. So my question to you is, do you think that this is the beginning of the end for real life human to human interactions and do you think that your favorite influencer and idol will eventually be replaced by AI robots in the future this is hands down one of the creepiest and scariest things that I have ever heard in my entire life and here's a snippet of the conversation what's great about this is that we have a whole community of people who want to change the world and make it better a lot of times in this these big companies they just want to sell stuff I mean Apple sells stuff so what am I saying but at its core, it's about making great products that change the world. I think that's why young people love Apple, because it means something to them. Yeah. They feel like they're getting in on something. Your products have a feeling of personality. They seem to have a soul in a way. And some people almost get religious about this stuff because it's so powerful and it means so much. Hello, TikTok. I just went down a very interesting rabbit hole. Did, did, you, did you understand that? That wasn't actually them. That was robots speaking to each other. Insane. Just like they got this thing with the essays, like, um, you know, it'll write an essay for you and it'd be plagiarized, plagiarism free. Like, bro, in reverse, this is going to turn us into some of the biggest idiots. Certain things just shouldn't be. And so now I'm going to take you with me. So I was watching that new show called The Watcher. Here's the cover of it. As you guys know, it just came out on Netflix. Remember I told you recently that there was definitely an agenda going on in today's shows, programs, and everything that we're watching? And when I had posted that, I was talking about the new Dahmer series. And I just find it very interesting that both of those shows were both created by Ryan Murphy. Now, to be fair, Dahmer was um, co-created by Ryan Murphy. For those of you who don't know, Ryan Murphy also was the creator of American Horror Stories, and I think it's very interesting, especially because all those shows have all the same recurring actors involved. And also, all of them happen to be talking about, like, child uh, blood sacrifices, adrenochrome, and you, if you watch The Watcher, you'll actually- I ain't even gonna, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, though, like, I ain't even gonna do this to y'all tonight, man. I seen what you said, Zay. I feel you though. I feel like she about to transform at any time, bro. Like that reptilian form is just about to bust through because them eyeballs is just like, wow, you know? I had to say that on my mind, y'all, but I'm gonna keep going. I want her to transform and call me, hit me up, trying to, trying to press me and shit for talking junk on the internet. I'm sorry. I had to say that see that there's a lot of hidden messages within that show they talk about world war three like the motherfucker about to fall out her head no she got kissed that motherfucker right like damn three again child blood sacrifices and rituals all right one more y'all she got double d eyeballs
I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm gonna get it together, y'all. We're gonna make, we're gonna make it through this. I don't know. I'm, I'm sensing a pattern here, but I definitely 100% believe that it's like reoccurring, showing that. I got another one. <laughs> to give them things a rest, she she don't need a bra. She need an eyebrow, right? <laughs> The same right, things go. over and over, pushing this stuff out to desensitize us to this type of stuff. I mean, we're seeing it more and more and more. Is that not strange to anyone? I mean, there was even um, th that blood sacrifice stuff in that new Disney movie, Hocus Pocus. It's, it's everywhere now. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. And you know what they say, to be careful what you're watching. I'm sorry, yeah, we're gonna make it. I don't mean her no harm though. She's still pretty, yeah. Martin Luther King Jr. James Earl Ray in the stage prison meeting. Did you kill my father? No, no, I didn't. No. Look at the handshake. Masonic. They all know. Martin Luther King never died on April 4th. I'd say that's why they're all filled with duping delight during their interview after the fake assassination. <laughs> But how can we explain the body? We saw the funeral. We saw the open. Due to YouTube slowly taking away freedom of speech, partly because of channels like mine, I will not show much. Let's just say, most of the funeral pictures they show were filled with the people who were at the fake or those close to him. I would not doubt that they took a set of pictures privately and prior to the funeral. They could have used the real mark. Hey, for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and skip this one though. It's gonna get too sticky for them, you know. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's gonna get too sticky, and you know they're gonna try to, just like he said in the beginning of this thing, <clears throat> you will get censored. People don't understand it. That that started to happen a long time ago. It began with uh, net neutrality, stuff like that. So can't play certain stuff, y'all. I'm sorry. Future doesn't actually exist and time is only an illusion. We believe that there's a future because of memories of past experiences. So our brain gets so used to having memories that it makes us think that it's going to happen again. Like if I say right now I'm about to hit my phone three times. One, two, but I don't hit it the third time. All of you that thought I was because I told you something in the past. Now your brain thinks it's going to happen again. Like if a bully say he's going to fight you at school tomorrow, you think that it's going to happen because it happened so many times before. But imagine if the bully doesn't come to school tomorrow, but now you're spending that whole day thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow. He said something in the past, your brain applies it for the future. If the future doesn't exist, that's all we have is thoughts. Thoughts for the future. Thoughts for something that could happen tomorrow when things never go as planned anyway. You can be chilling in your bed right now and think you're going to wake up tomorrow and everything going to be the same way. Just for later on tonight, a burglar will come to your house and take everything you own. So now, all the thoughts you had for the next day was never even real. It was only something that your mind made up. Because you was always in your bed every day, so now your brain applied it to the future. Every single day is a mystery. Live in the present moment. I'll make a part two soon, so make sure you follow. I love y'all. I'm pretty sure all of us as kids has heard something bad about the sun. And standing in the sun too long is bad for you. Look into the sun, it'll blind you. Put sunscreen on to protect We're going to skip this one. We already did this one right here. Take y'all to the next. All right, now y'all pay close attention. Bro, look how his arm extended, bro. Just look, I, I ran it back. Y'all seen it? Pete, look at that. Now look at that. Seen that I shit? I ran it back. Bro, look how his arm extended, bro. Just look, I, I ran it back. Y'all seen it? Pete, look at that. Now look at And show the whole thing copyright. Copyright. Hey, bro, that's his real arm, bro. Then peep how they try to put the little drone in there. Y'all see it? 
Wake up! Proof Michael Jackson killed by Illuminati for exposing industry. Really, really deep. Yeah, that Space Jam one, they'll get you for them copyrights, but... Did y'all, did you, did you notice what's happening in Space Jam, though? And what they do tell you, what were they trying to do, bro, from the most dominant athletes? What were they trying to do? They were trying to take their energy, right? And they took that shit through the basketball. I can break this whole thing down, but they do let you know certain things in these movies and stuff. And a lot of these things come into fruition. Just like the whole 19 thing, you feel me? I can't say on here. They done bullied me from talking about it, right? So, <clears throat> they say a lot. They do say a lot. They do say a lot. So, y'all just got to keep track of these things. It comes into fruition. They put out movies a long time ago. Talking about 10, 20 years ago about that stuff. That stuff that we went through that I can't talk about on here. But... It was already out there, so they can essentially say in the public domain you were informed. Whatever. Inspired him to um, to steal the cheat, they do whatever they can, especially the black artists. <laughs> Throughout the years, black artists have been taken advantage of completely, and it's time now that we have to put a stop to this incredible, incredible injustice. Tommy Matola is the president of the record division. He is a mean, he's a racist, and he's very, very, very devilish. Uh, please don't videotape what I'm going to say, okay? Turn that off, please. You know what? You know what? I don't mind. Tape it. Owning half of Sony. So, I own half of Sony's publishing in, and I'm leaving them, and they, they're very angry at me because of it, but uh, I just, I just did good business, you know. <laughs> Tell them! Mariah Carey. After divorce and time, came to me crying. Crying, she was crying so bad I had to hold her. And she said to me that this is an evil man. And Michael, this man follows me, she said. He taps her phone and he's very, very evil and she doesn't trust him and he is a horrible human being and we we have to continue our drive until he's terminated oh there you go You know what's crazy though, Mike. Mike was a G, y'all. Straight up. Like Mike was a G. And do you see at the end, towards the end, how they tried to make him look? They tried to make him seem crazy and irate and just this fucking monster all of a sudden. You know? Where was all this energy when he was at the height of his career and everybody was getting paid? Now, once, once you're not worth something to people that don't have your best interests in mind, you know, you're just, you know, worthless. Because they already got what they wanted from you. It's like a succubus. They're sucking all your energy from you. So now they want to paint you as crazy and stuff like that. When really you was doing good business, you got your bread. Now they want to do everything to try to slander your name and take that from you. Yeah, it's crazy. Now we hit, bro. We 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 understand it. Yeah, all of them. You did you see the pattern? Come on, if y'all don't look, everything is just not a coincidence, man. 
They're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, and we just sit here, take it. Because you're too scared to talk about it. Too uncomfortable. You, you, you're afraid that, you know, everybody be talking about these other celebrities need to speak up about this stuff, right? But in return, you won't even leave your damn bedroom. Some of these people that want other people to speak up, you don't even have a profile picture. You're afraid to put yourself out there. So it's a lot easier said than done to be a leader and lead some shit like that. Somebody say he was a G he. <laughs> yo, yo, we always got to find room for some sense of humor, man. That's amazing. He's a G he. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Like y'all, y'all ain't right. <laughs> G he. Hey, that's lit. Yeah, done started something, man. Interesting facts about celebrities, part one. Let me know what celebrity you want me to talk about next in the comments, and I'll try to get to them all. So we're going to kick it off with Sydney Sweeney, since today is Euphoria, though it's not Euphoria Sunday. So Sydney Sweeney plays Cassie in Euphoria, who's like this damsel in distress, very, very pretty girl, who kind of like can't think for herself and doesn't want to do anything herself. But Sydney Sweeney is the complete opposite of that. She actually what fixes up, up cars. So she bought a 1969 Ford Bronco and she completely just remastered it herself. And it was like really cool. I have to show you guys some more pictures of it. I mean, that's also her TikTok account. But it's like something that you would completely not imagine Cassie to do. So it's really cool to see how she's not her character. Also, the story of how her parents found out she was on Euphoria was hilarious. So she said they put on the show just out of the blue when her grandparents were there. She completely forgot to tell them that she was in the show. Boom, her grandparents and her parents see her in the scenes that we all see. They're like, Cassie, we're watching Euphoria. She's thinking she told him already. She's like, no, turn it off. Now we're going to run grandpa. <laughs> You're talking too fast for me. There has been some crazy stories and theories and rumors that people have made about pretty much every celebrity. So I'm like, let's make it into a series and look at some of these. So follow me for more. Comment for a part two. Let's get into it. So there's a lot of like body doubled replacement type theories and rumors about different celebrities. And Taylor Swift is one of them. So some people believe that Taylor Swift was replaced by a body double and that the Taylor Swift we see now is not the real Taylor. Now, some people think that Taylor is the reincarnation of like this other person who's like the head of the church of satan because they look alike but it's crazy of course we know avril lavigne has the same thing people believe she was replaced by a body double named melissa now out of all of them this one kind of makes the most sense because she does look different in her facial features yeah i did hear a story where somebody said they knew her mom and she said that her daughter actually died but i don't know if that's true but all of these originated in the 60s with paul mccartney there's a whole wikipedia page dedicated to paul mccartney's dead and they say there's hints of it in his music comment for part two he look like Lil Peep, don't he? I look like, I look like Lil Peep, don't it? Like his doppelganger or some shit. That one time where 23 Russian soldiers got turned to stone by uh, aliens? Did y'all know this? Did y'all know that there was official government files from the CIA claiming that Russian soldiers shot down a UFO, but the occupants of the UFO didn't die and they came on and projected a very bright light and then they turned those soldiers into what this file claims to be a limestone substance? Did you know that? Because I had no legging clue. <laughs> and it might not be true at all, because I mean, government files be lying too, but yeah it's pretty interesting imagine look when they had to release them documents yo what they took out of it you feel me like when you see these documents man it's not always gonna be the full truth y'all when they have to release these documents it's gonna be some bullshit so imagine if the, if that bullshit sounded bad imagine what it really sounds like it's gonna sound big bad <laughs> for my slow people out there big bad <laughs> I say say me bonics, you understand that. What do these celebs all have in common? They were all supposed to be on flights or be in the towers involved in 9-11. stories are the exact same. It's suspicious that they all magically changed plans last minute. Celebrities grown in labs. You. This Friday, the newest batch of Disney Channel stars grown in the Disney Genetic Engineering Lab will be unveiled to the public. Right. Now, Tracy, most of our viewers are already familiar with a lot of the products that have come out of the Disney I Lab. I yes. But how exactly do you create a Hillary Duff or a Miley Cyrus? 
from scratch. Right. Well, we're going to find out exactly how it's done right now because joining us live from the Disney Lab is uh, one of their lead geneticists, Dr. Andrew Rourke. Welcome, Dr. Rourke. There's quite an operation you've got going on out well, there. Well, thanks, Jim. So the stars that we... Hey, I know how y'all be looking at me now. That shit is funny, yo. <laughs> see on TV are actually grown right here. Uh, that's correct. They're, they're grown and uh, developed here. We engineer their brains for advanced singing and dancing capabilities, even posing for photos. By the time they grow to desired size, uh, these child stars are fully ready for the camera or the, the concert uh, tours or whatever Disney Crazy. chooses to put them in. That is simply <laughs> amazing. Now, how long does it take to actually create a star from scratch? Well, Manufacturing them. Telling you, that's wild. Which which version do you use, Zay? You one point or you the original? You know, which model? Okay. See your eyes. See her eyes. I don't know about that though. That's my favorite conspiracy. I don't have one, to be for real with you. Like all of this shit is pretty cool. Especially when you find real uh documents and evidence about this stuff. It gets that much deeper, you know? That's why I always tell y'all do y'all research. I don't know whatever happened to uh they took out the music on that but whatever happened to nick cannon's like documentary about dr sabi and shit like that like did that ever come out because that's what that was right there was referencing i don't i, don't, I gotta i gotta i gotta look at some more information on that y'all got something send it to me among us anymore their urge to be who they really are is creeping out as you can see on this video I just want you to focus on one thing notice how when she turns into what I believe is her reptilian form her tongue sticks out and she gets this weird type of jerk to her body and she hunches over in a strange way uh, unnatural as you can oh. see there uh, the See other that? reporter seems to be very surprised by this and disturbed. But she continues to talk as if nothing has happened. And this is the way they move around the world. This is what they do. There's something else that I want you guys to focus on. We're going to talk about her fangs and her teeth. She seems to have different teeth than what we do. As you can see, in one of the scenes here, I'm going to freeze frame it, right there. Her fangs pop out way more than her teeth, so it seems almost as if she has two layers of teeth. And that's because reptilians are known to have those fangs and very sharp teeth. And that's what you can see there. You can actually see proof that she is a reptilian, aside from the eyes Aside from the weird structure of her face, quite some time, but there's a limited time. Strange that while we're seeing this lady, she is talking about Donald Trump. And that is very strange to me, considering that people... Hey, that shit messing me up, too. Like, you know how you be looking at people and they be doing, like, weird shit with their face? Like, when they be talking to you, like... All right, look, he ain't gonna get mad at me, look. 
my best friend, like he be doing some shit. I be talking to him, right? <laughs> Look, he might he might be on here too, y'all. Look, this nigga be talking to me, right? We be having a conversation. Cause be like, he do this all of a sudden, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm sitting here like, Nick, nigga, like, do you know you doing that shit with your eyes? You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, man. Like, I, I have a hard time, like, because I'm a person that's going to speak about it. Like, all right, bro, you got something in your eye? Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you good? You know, that's how you, I ask questions. Make sure you good. Because a nigga just, out of nowhere, the hell is that? You know, I'm trying to find out. I'm very, I'm, I'm just trying to get it. But I would say this, look, I, w- I would have had to ask old lady on that show a couple questions, like, What's wrong with your eyes? You know what I'm saying? She would transform in front of me and shit. We'd be in there fighting on TV and shit. That's why they ain't never going to invite me on TV. Somebody said. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Boy, uh, y'all, power. Y'all trying to drop names. I'm going to keep going. I got one. Michelle got one. People you know got one. If you know, you know. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and they have to put that in there. How do you talk? Hey, look, they call it the smoothies. Okay, I can do that. Look, y'all know what that is, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, if y'all been a viewer for a while, you know what that is, man. Right? That's wild. Oh, like a lizard. And he out here grabbing flies and shit on the field. That's crazy. They get more bold, ain't they? Reptilian head ass. Look at them eyes. If that's editing, if that's editing, that is amazing, right? I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna run that back. That's crazy, right? That's great editing. Reptilian head ass. Listen to the song though while we're looking at lizard I, eyes, bro. I have always liked to shape shift. Right. Well, that- well, you heard it. Here she said she said in the public domain. Theories. There's the famous conspiracy theory that Avril Lavigne isn't actually the real Avril Lavigne, and instead she's a woman called Melissa, who was Avril's body double at the start of her career, and the real Avril is actually dead. Tupac died in a shooting in 1996, but some people believe that he's still alive and might be living in South America. Apparently Justin Bieber is actually a lizard person and so are some other well-known people like Queen Elizabeth and George Bush. There are a lot of rumours that Khloe Kardashian isn't actually a Kardashian and that she's actually the daughter of Kris Jenner and Kris's former hairdresser or she's the daughter of Kris Jenner and OJ Simpson. Cardi B glitches. I ain't gonna lie, that one's funny. <laughs> Y'all wanna be involved so bad, but nobody asked me about no damn gift. What's good? <laughs> <Get up. laughs> so is that is there gonna be a public registry? Cause I'm gonna be honest with you. Take the gift cards. Fuck everybody's presence. Take the gift cards, take the gift cards, take the gift cards. Yeah, because they might put, what's that thing that was going on? You see how they got the camera off her ass though, right? Like when she started doing that shit, like that motherfucker turned into a goddamn Borg on their ass. Ugh. You're coming out the sunken place on that ass, boy. Look, nigga, oh, she was fighting back in that joint. You know, Cardi feisty, you feel me? Back, back out that motherfucker. Ah, you know how that uh, motherfucker was on the Man in Black? How um, Will Smith was stepping on them cockroaches and started to goddamn it started to get under his skin. You know what I'm saying? He had to come back. That shit crazy though. 
Then he had to clap three times though. And I guess they got different trigger words for different people. Uh, Ain't never gonna be me though. Real talk. Ain't gotta worry about me. Good. All right, we gonna have one more. Gotta see this. I see how many tabs I got. I got like a million of them joints. That's how much I be on here buying this stuff, bro. I really does this. <laughs> Fell by the tabs. All right, let's get it. Now you ain't like we about to rock this last one over here. You good? We still got like what another little bit to go. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really creeped out about this. Yep. Yeah, just gonna close this real quick. Just watch this clip real quick. At the moon is a machine filled with computers. It watches, observes, downloads, uploads information to someone somewhere else in the universe. Woo! Here we go. So, in 1969, Apollo 12 did a mission to study moonquakes. Now, they purposely sent something to crash into the moon. Now, when it crashed, it made a loud bell noise for almost an hour. Now, in school, they tell you the moon is just a rock that reflects the light of the sun and orbits around us. But that bell noise clearly shows that it's not. There are even people like Corey Good who says that it's colonies on the moon who do weird stuff on there. Now you can believe all you want that for 70 years they've just been taking pictures and trying to find water on there, but they're really doing something else. Even if it is more advanced, they're not going to tell us. Now if we think about it, our moon could be fake and not an original sustainer of our Earth. I mean, Mercury and Venus don't have moons. So could the moon just be a high technological place where they do secret galactic things? Also, we all know that duality is in everything. There's female and male, there's day and there's night, there's good and evil, so you know where I'm going with this. Now we know that the sun keeps everybody alive. It makes plants grow, which give us food. It's just an overall good thing to have the sun. Now, in duality, what if the moon is the exact opposite of it? The moon is pretty creepy at times. It changes colors that looks like the world is about to end. What if the full moon emits dark energy? Ghosts do come out at night and they're able to roam around. And we're not gonna talk about the documents they had since 1960 about the lunar base program. I'm right. just saying, everything is not what it seems. So be careful of the moon. Y'all stay dangerous. Yo, I was gonna start by saying congratulations, but it ain't really shit to be proud of, to be honest. Y'all still don't get it, do you? The purpose is to make you the most mundane version of yourself that you can be. Pause and read. Because one of y'all biggest accomplishments in life is graduating college. That is not good. Warren, you go through all them years of school. You go through all them years of the Matrix just to be promoted to the next level of the Matrix. You you go to college. Now you can be a professional worker. You can be in the Matrix forever. You're not going to get no rest. We'll pay you, but you're going to be in the Matrix, my boy. You want to be the next doctor or lawyer? Mm -mm -mm. I go to school. I would expect to be learning how to meditate, how to properly manage my emotions and distinguish between them, how to effectively problem solve, how to actually, you know, be a human. Not no motherfucking worker. One of my favorite quotes from John D. Rockefeller is, I don't want a nation of thinkers, I want a nation of workers. They don't want you to think. And just I just want to paint this picture. Bro, this- Hey, you got to think, though. Like, that programmer that they talking about, look, man, that's- And this has happened to everybody. This happened on different levels, strategically, purposely, or the way that things are, man. I'm doing a breakdown on this, but I can see now from both sides what's really fucking going on, especially with the school system. We already know. What we learned was a bunch of moolarchy that you couldn't use in your adult life. How I many of y'all learned stuff in high school, middle school, things about, you know, real life, like outside of college and high school? Real life is balancing your money, you know, making life changing decisions for yourself. They didn't teach you none of that. A lot of people just go to work, just be broke enough to fucking do it all over again. Next paycheck. You know? And these are people that got college degrees that 
live paycheck to paycheck because they was fed this fairy tale of, oh, if you do this, you can get this. Reality don't work like that. You feel me? Be crazy. Don't work like that. Or vibration. A cymatic work. Now, all these pictures are cymatics, which are basically the geometric patterns of sound or vibration. A cymatic works by spreading water, or sand, or clay, or any substance on a metal plate and tuning that plate to a certain frequency. The crazy thing about this is that once the plate starts vibrating, the substance on the plate begins manifesting itself into a certain geometric pattern. The higher the frequency, the more complex the pattern. Now, cymatics help us see how sound or vibration creates all matter in the universe, as it is vibration that creates both structure and form. We can see this everywhere in nature, from turtle shells to starfish to trial bite. Everywhere, geometry and pattern are being expressed through sound or vibration. Another example is the top-down view of DNA, which resembles a beautiful geometric cymatic. You can also see the cymatic resemblance in the first video ever taken of an electron. Here's a picture of a molecule, again just look at that and tell me that doesn't look like a cymatic. <laughs> This is obviously because chemical and molecular structure is geometric, just like we saw in DNA. And not only do we see geometry everywhere in nature, but we also see it in the fundamental laws that govern nature. For example, there's a geometric pattern known as the E8, which basically describes all the fundamental interactions between particles and forces. Not only this, but the best theory that we have in physics known as quantum field theory says that matter is literally just vibrations of underlying fields which is saying that the fundamental nature of the universe is literally just cymatics, where the structure of things is determined by a unique vibration or frequency, in other words, a sound. This means that the universe is a cosmic visual symphony, because everything in existence is always constantly dancing to its own unique song. Every time we observe the universe, we are looking at the music that we call reality. Think about right, in this video, I'm gonna talk Hey, check that out though. Like when you talk about uh, telepathy and stuff like that, that's where you start to you start to realize what that is when they say that you evolve and you know these other beings that are out here, like the Anunnaki, the aliens, whoever you want to talk about, and tell you know they can speak like that. So they have found a way that they can resonate their bodies at a certain frequency to actually do everything, pretty much. You know, that's what I think that is. But uh. That's something interesting to think about. Like I told y'all what they call it, the Boogie V shit. When they send out a certain frequency, that's going to be the thing that's going to turn people into like flesh eating zombies and shit. But, you know, crazy. They can do anything through frequencies and everything has a frequency. It's vibrating. Talk to everybody that's scared of dying. Two gotta understand this, everybody that's watching this video is going to quote unquote die. The fear that you have of dying, the fear that generates when you think of death is okay. That feeling is a creation. Think about how you didn't give yourself that feeling. Whatever you believe in, God, whoever made your body made that feeling for a reason. Of course it's a bad feeling. That's what we have this ego for. This body, this brain generates bad feelings. We can learn how to overcome them. In reality, there's nothing to be scared about. There's nothing to be depressed about. This is all an experience. There would not be good if there wasn't bad. There would not be good feelings if there wasn't bad feelings. There would not be life without death. Death is not real. Death is a word that was made up to give you that feeling. It scares your ego to make you think that it's going to be gone forever. Whoever died is going to be gone forever. Now you have to deal with the feeling of being depressed. It's all a part of the experience, of the human experience. Think about the best, happiest feeling that you've ever generated in life. Think about the moment that you have been in where you got the happiest feeling ever. The person who created the emotion of that bad feeling also created the emotion of that good feeling. Doesn't that mean that God or whoever made us knew exactly what they was doing? You would not have been placed here if death was actually as bad as you thought it was. But your mind and your overthinking brain thinks about the worst case scenario just to give you that bad feeling. You gotta know is there's nothing to be sad or scared about in this whole life. Just enjoy it. This industry is not what it seems to be. Listen, this is a rapper. You got 200 followers. I bet you there's rappers in here right now that can rap way better than me. You can't. You can rap way better than me. You will never be where I'm at because this industry is rigged. It's rigged. I'm telling you. Yo, hear me out when I tell you. I speak facts. I'm in the industry. I'm trying to tell you how this game is 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 is, is marketed. Like I'm, I'm I'm trying to tell you. Yo, the labels tell you. Yo, listen. You have to sit down with Spotify. Sit down with Apple. You have to do this interview. You have to. So if you don't want to, you have to. 
You have to go see this person and sit down and talk to them. You have to go and do this. You have to. Yo, you, you gotta can, check the boxes. Literally, you can say, I don't feel like doing it. I don't even like that person. You have to. You're a puppet. You can't say certain shit. Take that down. Take it down right now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll take it down. Don't say that. Listen, you remember when I told you the industry is rigged? You remember when I told you that I said, yo, the industry is rigged, you can buy a number one? Remember when I told you that? You can buy a number one? Do you remember when I told you, yo, you can buy a number one? You remember when I told you that? What do you think I did? I bought it. You don't believe me still? I bought the number one record. You know how? Because bundles, bundles exist. If you make your whole fan base buy, it's not about music anymore. If you make your whole fan base buy, merch it buys the number one you can buy a number one i didn't prove it to you yet you can buy streams you can buy bundles you can buy you can buy a number one i didn't tell you that i didn't tell you that what does it take you to <laughs> fucking believe you can buy a number one <laughs> i didn't tell you that <laughs> this whole thing will get copyrighted now though uh Take it from a person who's successful using, but I believe it though. I, I mean, I mean, look, man. How many, how many rappers do y'all know? How many talented friends do y'all have that you can be like, you know what? If somebody noticed them, if somebody put some money behind them, this shit can go. And you're not being biased. You're just like, yo, my friend got some dope ass music. I, I know we know we all know people. But it's a reason why certain people ain't going to get hurt, you know? Certain people ain't going to go for this in the industry when, you know, you, you're being told what you can do at all times. Like, take this post down. You can't say this. You can't do that. You can't be who you are. Come on, now. Certain people just ain't going to go, you know? You've seen the people that do something different. What happens to them? They get blackballed from everything. You can call it what it is. They take everything from you. They try to they try to slander you on in so many ways. Y'all see what's happening? In ten, you can make your body tougher and considerably slow the effects of aging. Then comes Zets, which shuts off the flow of aura. From my TV it show. is quite Hunter effective yep. for concealing your presence from others and recovering from fatigue. Which brings us to Ren. It enables you to produce more aura. Let's talk about spirits, That's ghosts, great. spirits, souls. Whether you believe they are real or not, let's get into the science and spiritual side of what they actually are. This is going to be basic quantum physics. Spirits are essentially just souls without a physical body. In quantum physics, they're explained as core energetic blueprints or soul prints of living beings. Because everything is energy and energy never dies, your consciousness continues to exist even after death. But because you don't have a physical vehicle for your consciousness to drive around in, you're basically just- <laughs> Somebody say, I give up your soul and your booty hole. <laughs> Hell nah. But they're gonna turn you to a shish kebab, right? Hell nah. Energy or invisible to the people in this 3D dimension. There are many types of spirits and all of them reside on different frequencies. You're going to see some spirits that are very high vibrational and some that are very low vibrational. A low vibrational spirit would be like a shadow person or a demon. Some have incarnated I know we've seen some of these before. These spirits, no matter So I got another universal download, y'all. Make perfect sense and this is true. I don't care what nobody said, this is true. We are very similar to plants. Plants, you should water your hair. You should water it. I'm not talking about washing. Water it. Just, just water your fucking. What you do is, alright, y'all, y'all, y'all with that one right there. Look, cause I know, man, we all don't have the same uh, opinions on things, you know. But that water in your hair thing, y'all going with that? Y'all going with that? Make sure know. that who you're dealing with, you have to know their heart, okay? Okay. You have to know Water their heart. Air. 
When it comes to you dealing with certain individuals, you got to know their heart. If you don't know the heart of the individual around you, keep them away and, and, and bring them back around when you know that their heart's good. But if they're confusing you, stay away from them, okay? Because it can get you hurt, okay? It can mess you up. So you want to make sure that you're dealing with good-hearted people because good-hearted people, they're not going to lead you off that path that you need to be on. Say, please, let's stop using Kanekalon hair, a.k.a. braiding hair, a.k.a. Kankalon hair, which some people call in the South Florida. Many of us do not know that Kanekalon hair is made with a chemical compound that has been listed as a carcinogen. The two chemical compounds are acrylonitrile and vinyl chloride. These two chemicals affect the endocrine system, meaning that they affect the glands in the body, the hypothalamus gland, the pineal gland, the thyroid gland. How many people are dealing with thyroid issues? The ovaries, it has been known to cause endometriosis, breast cancer, reproductive problems. It has been studies done in rats that these things can kill you. So why in the world are they allowing this to be put into our head? It's put into our head, it is absorbed through the skin, and some of us are inhaling it. And the end result is it's a carcinogen. Stop putting this in our young queen's head. If you don't watch... I ain't, I ain't know all that. It's just like, bro, like at this point though, it's like pick your poison, what you want to catch cancer from at this point. Like you pick. Like right now, somebody, I, I seen somebody in the comments was like, damn, Dre look tired. No, what it really is, is these bright ass lights I got behind the cameras right here. And sometimes it's hard for me to keep my eyes open. See the lights, the way they hit me is it's, it's dark here, you know, but the light is pretty good. But a light comes with a price. It's in my eyes. So yeah. The things you eat, the things you eat will soon eat you. Wow. What you eat will determine how you yes. live, how you behave, how you even relate to you. The African have a saying, an angry heart devour its owner. Mm. So you better have a good heart for you to live long. A lot of us have sick. It's a rare one others, from Dr. Savy. And a lot of us are sick. You're not supposed to sleep in the same bed. Naturally, you're not supposed to sleep in the same bed. Let me keep it real. Overstand that sickness is, tra is traded with each other. You have what you call organs, okay? You sleeping beside this stress. And we're trading these negative forces with each other all day. Instead of detoxing ourselves, getting our bodies back right and our organs back in tune with ourselves, we can be in tune with others. That's why, you know, you ever realize couples who be around each other um, for a long time, they start looking like each other? You start trading that energy. <laughs> if you can even physically look like each other, yeah. imagine what's happening to the inner organs. Your organs can even start to look like each other. Don't forget that the skin is also an organ. So if this person's organ's out of shape, but you've been around this person for a long time trading this energy, also your organ can be out of shape also. You see? This is the science that they don't tell you. Uh, would you? Hey, you know what's crazy about that? You know what's crazy about that is though. Like, look, it's some truth to it's some truth to that. I think I think so because you know you are the company that you keep as well. It's a reason why you hang around certain people. It's always a reason, and you might not know this, but somebody on the outside looking in. Like when I came back to my city, it was like most people was. You know, content with, you know, I, I was always a go-getter. I always wanted to do more, you know. I'm always out here getting it in a different way. You know, I'm always ahead of the curve when it comes to, like, online things, e-commerce, everything, you know. But I would say it like this. It was a body type when I got back. Everybody had skinny legs with fat stomachs. And then, like, it took me, like, a matter of a year before I was skinny legs getting a little bust out on the sides. I ain't gonna say I was fat. I was getting, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, you feel me? But, you know, you become you become what's around you. And I always knew, I was like, fuck no. I start looking at myself in the mirror like, damn, that ain't me, that ain't it. Let me get it together. I'm gonna go hard or I gotta give it back together. You feel me? So then I began to notice. So I do, I, I, I get it. Cause I was hanging around, you know, people for a long time and it, and it rubs off on you. In ways you don't really understand sometimes, but yeah, that was my experience. But yeah, you gotta keep it real with yourself sometimes. Put your drawers on your boyfriend, your husband, or whatever. 
You wouldn't, you wouldn't just say, all right, here, babe, put these on. I'm saying, no, no, what if they even look just like the boxes you wear? What, what, you get what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you do that? Because it's yours. Right, because of the hygiene, right? Okay, okay, okay. So if I took the sheet off of your bed, right, and I just cut it, and I stitched it up, and I put it on you, is that not boxers? Is that not underwear? If you didn't know, the sole on the bottom of your sneakers or shoes is keeping your soul inside of your body, inside of your vessel, disconnected from the natural healing energy from Mother Nature. It is key to take off them sneakers and put your feet in the grass, put your feet in the sand, and just let that abundant healing energy flow through your body. This is called grounding or earthing. There are so many benefits to grounding, all right? Like it's going to improve your blood circulation and your blood flow. It's a great anti-inflammatory, so it's going to get rid of the inflammation in your body. Right. All right, my people? It's a great stress reducer, and it also is going to help reduce anxiety and depression. And it also restores electrical connection because the earth throws off negative ions, and as humans, we throw off positive ions. So it's just key to have that balanced electrical charge. Here's a demonstration photo of some people wearing shoes disconnected from the abundant life force energy that Mother Earth is providing. And here we have some people actually with their shoes off receiving the abundant life force energy that Mother Earth is providing. There is a whole nother life force down below the grass that we do not see called the mycelium network. This mycelium network keeps everything connected. The mycelium network is so powerful that it knows when you're there. So this is why we must connect with nature and be one with nature because a lot of us are disconnected and we don't even know the true healing powers of just standing in grass it's that simple ezekiel's vision was all yeah i remember on that one video i had um when it was showing look just because it comes from a person that don't look like you or somebody that you feel comfortable with listening to just you know you have to have an open mind with these things man now I can show you the same video with a quote unquote expert speaking about the same thing and what it does to the human body. You know, just because you don't have a PhD or something like that don't mean that you don't have good information. That's all I'm trying to say. But it it, it shows that your body it it starts to does something it does something to your cells. It it charges your cells and your body and stuff like that. Like it it it, it definitely helps you. Grounding is something that uh. It's, it's just amazing. Once you start doing it, you'll understand where I'm coming from. Get out there in the sun too, man. Just because it's cold outside don't mean that y'all don't need to get y'all some sun. Go talk. This is the time of year where people start to feel depressed because of sunlight. All about the mothership coming back. Notice how he described the beings on the ship. How radiant they were. He said, it like, oh, it was like seeing God. So he fell down. That's what human beings gonna do. When they see these ships land and the motherfuckers that get off them look just like us. And that's what a lot of our own gods and goddesses gonna do when these ships start landing down a little lower and niggas get off looking just like us. But with a way brighter glow. I'm talking about brighter than the sun. You ain't gonna be able to look at them if your frequency ain't high enough. Cause we are luminous beings. They don't have, they ain't been breathing oxygen. They you though, they your family. Your cosmic family, but they ain't been, been breathing oxygen, so they radiant like at our full strength. And niggas gonna fall down and prostrate when they see him thinking that it's Jesus returning. And they gonna be like, get your goofy ass up. Ain't no Jesus, nigga. We you. Get your ass up, nigga. It's Ezekiel's wheel. This is my moon visit dream. I was on a craft with two what they call greys. I was looking out the window and I was amazed to see the ancient structures carved into the mountains. Structures carved by our ancestors. Then I looked back and I saw the earth. The earth is not round. It's flat. The moon is not out in space. It's in earth's atmosphere. You can breathe on the moon without that gear. NASA has been lying to us to confuse us. I will continue this subject on my TikTok and my Instagram accounts. Oh, I believe her. She, I think she a robot. You feel me? She ain't got no type of emotions or nothing. Dude, she like, yeah, yeah, she real with it. You feel me? Yeah, I got to go there and get my information.
<laughs> Yo, but look, what he was talking about when they come down from these ships, the same things that I was showing y'all on the videos that I recorded, that's what they gonna look like. It's gonna be crazy when it does happen. But y'all see everything on social media. You see the government talking about it. You see everybody talking about what? Extraterrestrial life now. And then also what we covered in this video too as well. Did y'all see the uh, the little part about the Black Panther and the Atlanteans basically coming up? There are reasons why we do bomb the ocean and stuff like that. Come on, man. We, we're not just trying to set water on fire for no reason, right? So just think about that. Just put all this in one big ass perspective. You know? It's something in that damn water, y'all. That's what I'm going to say, man. It's something in the damn water, man. Getting hotter. The ice caps are melting. It's something in the damn water. <laughs> I'm just going to let y'all know, man. Don't panic. But yeah, it's something in the water, y'all. I, I keep telling y'all, I don't even like big fish, goddammit. So I get a full understanding for what's going on. Look, I'm, I'm, I play it cool. But when I'm, when I'm water levels... Because the shit, the water is rotating just like the desert used to be covered, like used to be the ocean. Think about it, man. Shit is changing, y'all. Look at Mississippi. Look at places in like China, bro. Look at the water is moving. It's leaving certain places and going other places. You feel me? Am I, I am I tripping? You said do a vlog. Y'all want me to do a vlog? Man, people don't be watching vlogs like that, yo. I tell you exactly what people do to vlog. As soon as you start vlogging, bro, you think that, oh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put together this uh transition right here and do this, do this and that. Your video be like 15 minutes long, bro. Your watch time be like two, three minutes because people do the vlogs, bro. What people can't stop doing is tapping through the month. Right. Ta -da, ta -da. That's the worst thing that, that, that YouTube could have did for us is put that feature on there. People be tapping shit through you. Because I do it too. I have to tell you, I do it too to people's videos. I'm sorry, I do it to my favorite YouTubers. I tap all through their damn video. I get it. Did I get I got a, I got a bunch of emails. So I'm 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 going through them. Yeah, ours is gonna be legendary. Look, yeah, definitely. Hey, hey, Zay, I want you. I want you to do a. Uh, I want to do a um, a, a in person one. Do like a real production one. So that's what we gonna do. I don't. I don't want. I don't want my shit to be regular. To the IGDM too. Ah, right, yeah, it's a bunch of those too. Look, y'all gotta think. When I do it, it'd be a bunch of people. It's, it's, it's most of the time it's just me, so I'm 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 going through the videos and stuff, and getting stuff squared away. But I do appreciate it though. I got y'all. Oh yeah, yeah. I said we too deep to have a uh, 1K likes. Let's go ahead and run that thing up. We got 3,400 people on here. Everybody, look, all here for one reason, one mission. We got one mission. Look, this. Tap that like button. This for the one time. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, for sure. They need to hear the truth. Say you need some live video chats. I mean, I think the line of stars was in Texas. The the video that I seen out there was uh, a little different. I seen um seen something that looked like a train. Guy. Oh, you said split screen chat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that'd mean that uh 
you know, we can we can we can we can possibly do that. All I gotta do is do the zoom thing and post the link in the chat or whatever. We can get that cracking. For sure. But I have to go direct from it's it's a different how you do that live right there. Let somebody else know how to do it a different way. I have to join my YouTube channel through the Zoom, and I hate the Zoom. If you if you understand what goes on behind the scene, then you'll get what I'm saying. You know, the format and everything, comfortable with what I got set up. So I hate doing this stuff. After I got it all set up, you know how hard it was for me to put all this stuff together. And you know what's crazy? My setup that I have, y'all. What prepared me for this, y'all? I've been collecting this stuff, all my electronics and stuff, for like over like fifteen years. I've been collecting my electronics, all this stuff together, like computers and stuff. I've been doing this all my life, teaching myself. And y'all can do it too. I'm a. Uh, I know people were asking. I'm gonna do a, a slight tutorial on like how to set up your own like YouTube channel and stuff like that for people wanna that wanna know that. What you would need, what your options, all that stuff. Yeah, cause I I see a lot of people trying to uh, do reactions and stuff, and I I be I be feeling like y'all be needing some information sometimes, cause people would be like, oh, want to do a reaction video, and then they would, you know, pull up another phone to show you like a video, but no, I I I want to show you how to just incorporate that uh, all on the screen at the same time, make it at least look decent, you know. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that, chat. For sure. I bring, I definitely bring y'all on here, but I don't want people coming on here talking crazy, man. Like, look, man. That Discord? Use Discord? Okay. All right, all right. I'm going to look at a video on uh, how to incorporate that because I'm on stream labs right now. Uh, I want to plug it straight through here. You get what I'm saying? So if I can do it through Discord, I can probably, yeah, it, it'd probably be better that way. All right. Well, look, man, I'm going to get over here. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I've been putting together a whole bunch of videos on here. Uh, We got a couple more that we're working on for the, the theories, but I'm probably going to drop those in the next, like, couple days, you know. Got to find a... Uh, video i see y'all i see y'all tomorrow i probably had like two or three videos dropping tomorrow but look make sure y'all got those notifications on make sure y'all smashing that like button sharing these videos with your friends your family everything take care of your families say your mama and your daddy so you say you love them you know what i'm saying your brothers your sisters your aunties your cousins you know just try to stay in contact as best as you can but look love your people love them while they're here like i always say spread love because it's too